The Chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Federal Polytechnics and Higher Education, Honorable Fouad Lagunda, has employed relevant authorities to prioritize science and health technology. Lagunda, who made the call at a public hearing on three bills, said this is in a bid to drive economic growth, improve healthy living standards, and address societal challenges. The bills include a bill for an act to amend the Federal Polytechnics Act, CAP. F-17, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2010, to establish Federal College of Science and Health Technology, Mbu Izwa Enugu State, to provide qualitative education in sciences, health, arts, and other technical knowledge, and for related matters, HB 589, sponsored by Honorable Paul Namchi, amongst others. He said the bills were timely and in tandem with the quest for more sustainable human and technological development for a self-reliant society. The lawmaker said the passage of these bills into law would not only ensure that the workforce is technologically empowered but can also be used to tackle the issues of unemployment, wealth creation, poverty reduction and a productive self-reliant society. As you may be aware, we cannot at this juncture of our development underestimate the importance of science, technology, vocational and technical education as the key drivers of our socioeconomic development. We therefore need to prioritize and recognize the importance of science and health technology in driving economic growth, improving healthy living standards, as well as addressing societal societal challenges. The Speaker of the House, Honorable Thajdin Abbas, said through appropriate legislation, they would assure access to quality education, infrastructure, teacher productivity, and foster digital learning. Represented by the Deputy Majority Leader of the House, Honorable Abdullahi Halims, he regretted that over 60% of Nigerian graduates are unemployable and underemployed. He expressed commitment to ensuring that qualitative education is made accessible to all. Reforming and modernizing technical education are critical steps towards promoting skills acquisition and empowering our youth to contribute meaningfully to the economic growth and the development of Nigeria. Over the years, our educational system has encouraged Nigerian graduates, has encouraged Nigerian graduates to depend heavily on white collar jobs rather than the self reliant employers of labor. The committee, however, expressed gratitude to the Speaker of the House of Representatives for his continued and untiring support to the committee, urging all, urging all stakeholders to work together as patriots towards a successful deliberation leading to the passage of these bills for the overall benefits of the citizens and the nation at large. Aniti. Patrick Ko, CV News, Abuja.